Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to this special video of a new drug update. Today we have a new drug combo with two compounds, Sanomaline and Trospium, marketed under the brand name Cobenthai in the US. This drug was recently approved by the US FDA on September 26, 2024 for treating schizophrenia. Now in this quick review, we will provide a brief overview of schizophrenia, the rationale of traditional treatment for schizophrenia and how Cobenthai offers a new mechanism. Specifically, we will look at the two drug compounds, Sanomaline and Trospium, in terms of how they work on M1 and M4 receptors and regulate dopamine release and provide symptoms improvements. Lastly, we will have a quick note on Cobenthine clinical outcomes and side effects, so let's get started. Schizophrenia is a severe mental disorder characterized by hallucinations, delusions, disorganized thinking, and cognitive impairments. It affects millions globally. Artist Lewis Wing was affected by schizophrenia, and as his disease progressed, his depiction of cats also morphed significantly over the years. For decades, antipsychotic medications have focused on blocking dopamine receptors, specifically D2 receptors, and these treatments reduce positive symptoms but often come with side effects like weight gain and movement disorders. Combinify targets muscarinic acetylcholine receptors specifically M1 and M4, in the brain. This selective mechanism helps regulate brain signaling without affecting dopamine levels directly. The positive symptoms of schizophrenia, such as hallucinations and delusions, are closely linked to excessive dopamine activity in the brain's mesolimbic pathway. When the presynaptic M4 autoreceptors are activated, they reduce the release of acetylcholine, a key neurotransmitter. This reduction in acetylcholine decreases the activation of acetylcholine receptors located on dopamine-producing cells. And as a result, there is an indirect decrease in downstream dopamine release in the mesolimbic pathway. And by lowering dopamine activity in this region, the activation of M4 receptors helps to alleviate positive symptoms like hallucinations and delusions. On the other hand, negative symptoms of schizophrenia such as social withdrawal and cognitive impairment are associated with imbalances in neurotransmitter systems. Activation of M1 receptors in the prefrontal cortex plays a key role in improving these symptoms. When M1 is activated, it enhances inhibitory GABA activity in both the prefrontal cortex and the hippocampus, leading to better cognitive function and a reduction in social withdrawal. At the same time, M1 activation decreases excitatory glutamate activity in the midbrain, which reduces excessive excitatory input and dopamine release. This overall modulation helps alleviate negative symptoms by restoring balance in key brain regions involved in cognitive and behavior. Copenfy is a two-drug combo containing Sanomaline and Trospium. Sanomaline is a muscarinic agonist that activates M1 and M4 receptors in the brain. M4 receptor activation improves cognitive and negative symptoms by modulating synaptic plasticity. And M4 receptor activation reduces dopamine overactivity, controlling positive symptoms without directly blocking dopamine receptors. Trospiums is a panmuscarinic receptor antagonist. It blocks peripheral muscarinic receptors, preventing side effects outside the brain. This reduces side effects like gastrointestinal issues, which can occur from cholinergic activation in non-brain tissues. 
Let's look at some clinical outcomes. In the clinical trials, Emergent 2 and Emergent 3 trials, it showed a significant reduction in symptoms with 9.6 and 8.4 points reductions in PANSS scores compared to placebo. And unlike traditional antipsychotics, Cobenfi does not cause weight gain, extrapyramidal symptoms, that means movement disorders. However, it can cause nausea, constipation, and gastrointestinal discomfort from peripheral receptor activation. In conclusion, Cobain-5 represents a novel approach to treat schizophrenia, offering a new mechanism of action without dopamine receptor involvement. Its selective targeting of muscarinic receptors makes it a promising option, especially for patients who do not respond to traditional treatments. And please comment if you have any questions and subscribe for Clearly Explained Pharmacology and Other Basic Sciences in the Healthcare Professional Studies. And like always, I am not affiliated with any of these drug companies. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.